Okay, over here at number 50, old 54 again. And there was another person on one of them, uh, on one of the schoolie forms that I'm on, or groups. She said she had, uh, one that was number 54, which is pretty cool. Usually, buses are, uh, three numbers or more. Our, ours is, uh, only two. I gotta take this with me today. I'm gonna just try to take some rivets off today. I ain't good. Hmm. When it came down. Well. See how it's a uh, buckle there, but it's ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just because it's humped up. So it's sitting flat to the runner or your shelves. And actually, this right here, this is great metal air. Just a couple spots right there. It's pretty rusty and over there. So uh, I'll cut that out. Some of it, and I'm gonna put a whole sheet on that. I'm gonna try to use this stuff. I use it for the window. Now I know it is the same as that. It don't weld very good, but I put it on there with some bonding agent or something, or maybe a one or two tacks, and it worked right. It should work good. So let's get some windows open in here, guys. Open the doors. But I don't got no bird today. And my buddy, uh, Mike, my best friend, whatever, he was saying, uh, about, uh, I was saying, uh, how did, I don't, you guys have to watch it, because it was hilarious when I rewatched it. I said about a, Bird in the bus is better than a bird in the bush or something. It was something like that. So it was just rolled it on my tongue. It was hilarious. But the floor is all smooth. I know it is not complete. The holes ain't fixed. But it's all smooth. It's getting close to being done because all the black spots has got stuff on it. And that's what you want. It stops the rust. Then remember, we got all the silicone. 100% silicone. 100% silicone. Do not take this the wrong way. Is, but augmentations of the body, people would like, not this, but silicone, and it never hardens. So. People put stuff in their their uh dairy rare dairy air and their uh their not their lips but uh jaws and stuff and so but we got like six t tubs of that so I gotta start on that soon. And I move I got rid of the big air air tank, got rid of that. Let's see what our solar's doing today, guys. It was a 19-something. I don't know what that exactly means. I'm going to try. Uh, I brought over this chip, too. It's not an actual chip. It's like a chip, but it's a, but it's a micro, or I mean a flash drive. I'm going to see if it works in that thing. Because it's got it. I don't know if them TVs doing that or not. But so. Mostly what I'm going to do today is get my uh, hammer out. I'm going to work on these rivets. I'm going to beat these rivets off. Start taking this stuff off. 
And you see as this one out, I just cut it. I haven't took the window out yet. So, that's what I'm planning on do to, doing today, so. Okay, I can still hear it. Let me turn it down. Uh, I got, today so far, got all these rivets out. Now, remember, I'm doing this all by hand. All them rivets out. I had that piece out. All these, all the way back to here are out. I got to get this piece. I don't, might do that today. I got another, uh, ceiling tile down. I'm going to wait to take these down. Two people, because... It slid out. Mm, trying to see where I can see. There's my hand. Right there. I, I straightened it back out. But it is a little ding and dent in there. Uh, get them out. This back piece right here. This is all screwed on. And... I'm gonna try. I was thinking about trying to keep it. I don't. I might unscrew it, put some good insulation in there, make sure it's insulated, and put it back, back on. Same way I'm gonna do the front probably. And I'll just paint it or something. Uh, but I, like I said, I'm doing all this by hand. I'm using. Old hammer, uh, eighteen, nineteen, eight, eighteen to twenty ounce. I don't know. And a harbor, or crap. I just beating that poop out of it. Now, oh, there it is. Now, hard free chisel. I had to sharpen it. Once already. And all I'm doing is going up here and beating. You can see that it's still there, but. I'm not worried about any of them. Because what you can do. Trying to find them. Had a little screw I was using. Well, anyway, let's just take one of these window screws. Some of these pop right through, see? It's gonna, you know, it's gonna fall down in the bus, but it might rattle. You might hear it, and you never know going down the road, but I don't care. Some people might. I don't. But anyway, and you can also just take a your normal hammer. Once they're still sticking out. falling back through but so that would do but I got that piece down uh, that's what I said I got uh, two big chunks down here I got one more side piece to go so I said all this back stuff I'm gonna try to keep because it's gonna be a different that's gonna be a utility room so I really ain't worried I just I just drop that in there. Well, anyway, uh, I just want to put wood on the ceilings and stuff and make it look like it's. A... I'm trying to make it look like it's an old log cabin in a way, like a lot of you guys do. I like that look. Alright, I'm going to get back at it. Uh, 
This video might be 15-20 minutes today or whatever. I don't know. I'm just taking my time because it is a little warm. And I'm still charging everything off of solar now. I mean, you seen that earlier, but we're only down to 12.5. More 12.4. I stopped uh, when I used the restroom. And then uh, the voltage and... Let me see. It's four. I got it set at 14. I think that's how many bolts can go into it. It's 12.5. And I thought it had more. It's 2.1 amps. It's still saying 12.5. I thought it was different on the voltage coming in. Which it should be. It should be like 13 or something. Might be the 14. Maybe. I don't know. You guys under you guys understand that thing more than I do. So we're getting there slowly. I know it's a little dark in here now because I put most of the windows up. Um, I'm actually closing up for a day. I know I don't do a lot during a day, but I can't because of my hip, because of an accident. Serious accident I had a long time ago, but I am getting it done. I swept up. I forgot to. I got to take the trash can with me. She's full. Empty it. But anyway, uh, I went ahead and uh, come back here. All these are out. All these are out except two. And then same way up here. All these are out on this side. Yeah. Now, uh, except two. The shift panel is getting ready to come off. And then when I come back over, I'm going to hold off on these side panels in the back. I might do this one. I can get to this one pretty easy. But I'm going to wait till I get rid of the, the other stuff to the landfill or my burn pal to get rid of it. So. But this is what I got done today. I got uh, another roof panel. I got all these out and this out. Cop coming from somewhere. No, it's a rescue. It's a fire rescue. Anyway, I got all that done today and then... uh. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're doing this by hand, taking every single rivet out with these two main pieces, yeah, that's a lot. A lot for me. So, there she is. Old 54 is getting there. We're getting her stripped down. Then when you start rebuilding it, I already got, remember, all oh, the floor has been, we've been doing patching the floor, getting that done. But I wanted to switch up a little bit, go back and forth, then I, like, like on ceiling, I was doing ceiling and this, I, I was going back and forth. Then I won't get wore out on one thing, so. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, you didn't, thumbs down, leash, watch one, please subscribe. Because I'm at last last time I counted, I was at 990. I need 1,000. I need like 10 more people. So if you get a chance, subscribe and bye till later.